Hello everybody, welcome to Illustrator Jones. And here we're going to go for a scribble sketch this week. And I started with this one, but it didn't go very well. No, it didn't. So, um, yeah, you'll see what happens in a second. Just proves, you know, you can't always, I don't know, it wasn't doing anything for me. It turned into a shark and I thought, nah, I can't do a shark again. So, here we go. Watch, 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 watch. Yeah, he turns over the page. Start again. Did a different scribble. And off we go. Yes, it's, it's a lot better. Well, it's a bit better anyway than the last one. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all well and okay. Look. I hurt myself. I hurt my fam. I did. I cut myself with a knife. Oh dear, to what a to do that was. Yeah, look. There we go. You see this scribble sketch now. You start, it started coming here with a tongue hanging out. And then, do you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of those creatures in um, Mario Brothers games. You know the big one in the pot? Is the, I don't know what it, what was it called? The uh, muncher? No, no, it was called a piranha plant. That's what it was called. So I drew my own version of a piranha plant. It's a lot more horrible. So be warned. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I drew my own version of a of a piranha plant. So um, it was really good fun. This one. Yeah, so what I did was, I was going to do a brain sticking out of the top, and I thought, nah, do something different. I drew eggs. <laughs> yeah, it's like, do you remember that scene in Aliens? You know, the James Cameron film at the end, where she walks into that room with a dirty big queen and all the eggs. That's what. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. It always comes down to a movie, doesn't it? Always. Every time. Yeah. So yeah, so that's where I went, and uh, there you can see what I'm thinking, kind of, because I've, she, she's dropping eggs as she's walking. You see, so this is where it was going, a piranha plant, but a really, really nasty one. I remember playing those on the little Game Boy, the black and white ones. You remember the black and white Game Boy? Oh, <gasps> and then they brought out a colour one. Well, I was so envious. Oh, honestly. I want a colour one. I want a colour one. Black and white rabbit. It's useless. Yeah. Do you remember Wheelie and the Chorton tor tor and the Wheelies? Do you remember that? And the little witch. Well, she was Welsh. <laughs> a little Welsh witch. <laughs> anyway. Why did I go there? Yeah, so I had a, an idea. I didn't like the eye. So I'll change that later. I'll change that later. But yeah, I, as you can see, there you go. Now you might be saying things to yourself, Chris, where's Seamus Gumshoe? <laughs> you probably no, you're probably not. <laughs> there he is, hiding behind the bins. That's usually my kind of thing, hide behind the bins. So <laughs> Yeah, he's hiding behind the bins. Because this thing is a bit you know, it's a bit nasty, isn't it? It could eat you, this thing. Hey, I hope this is not too scary for kids pretty scary drawing sorry guys this is too scary get a cushion and hide behind it <laughs> it's not that bad it's not it's not scary at all it's just daft it's a lord of rubbish really a lord of rubbish ah, it is anyway hey I've got a story to tell about me thumb I was in the car park in town with with Rebecca she'd gone into a shop and I had some new seat um, um, mats for the car. I thought, I know, I'll put those in the car. And they were still fastened with this plastic loop thing. So I got my knife out, my pen knife, and I held it like this. And I went, slip! And I went, oh, like that, you know. And then I took my hand away and he went, <laughs> I went, ah! <laughs> I said, oh, it's no good. And the, the wound in my thumb went, yawn <laughs> blood all down my arm you know sitting in the car like, ah. anyway went to Superdrug and got some bandages and you know bits and pieces and antiseptic and 
went home and then everybody got home you know oh you'll have to go you'll have to go to the a and e and i thought oh yeah a and e you can be waiting there for what six to eight hours just to be seen i thought i'm not doing that anyway rebecca persuaded me to go so she took me down and we went in and it was a six and a half hour wait but i went to the counter you know and i said to the lady you know she says it's six and a half hours you know she says you might because it was about 11 o'clock half past 11 at night she says you might as well come back in the morning because the um was it the small injuries department is open and you can go and see them tomorrow morning after eight o'clock you know, otherwise you're going to be sitting here all night and it'll probably be eight o'clock by the time you you know get seen so i thought all right went home went to bed got up early in the morning went down there was seen in half an hour didn't need stitches but it was too late for stitches actually cleaned it and did said i did all right it was you know fixing it so didn't even have to go into hospital at the end of that at the end of the day but what a flipping cut oh man alive it was deep a big piece of meat <laughs> anyway yeah so that was a great you know great i meant to have, i went with rebecca to the dentist just to support her and you know be encouraging and and help her because she doesn't like the dentist and ends up doing that afterwards <sighs> terrible what a day so yeah so i'm doing a a background of the little street scene which i quite like doing of stepping them a little town called uh fibbington and um it came together quite you know once i got in my head oh this looks all right Listen, i'm gonna make this into a plant kind of thing because i don't i don't think i've done a plant have i i don't think i have anyway i yeah it came out and then i've started putting thorns on it you know little thorns little spikes make it look really mean and then put little baby um piranha plants <laughs> in the eggs on her back <laughs> oh yeah it worked out all right now yeah oh inking already yeah it's once you get it in your head and you think hello that's an idea i'll go with that that's quite good you know and you get excited about it and you think ooh, ooh, ooh. you know and you start drawing and down you know hour and a half gone by before you know it you know but you're having fun it really is you know it really is a lot of fun that's all i can encourage you to do have a go at drawing you know and uh get a shape and make some monsters out of them and um you'll have a lot of fun i promise I re you really will and the more you do the better you'll get just practice that's all it is i need a lot of practice as you can tell <laughs> yeah I, I drew some dustbins because <laughs> yeah, i needed him to be up to be hiding behind something and i instantly thought of dustbins quite like this bit of putting in the shadows and um, you know making him look like he's lit from behind kind of thing because there's a light up at the top of there um, on the street on the corner of the building and that's going to give that's going to be my light source so I knew where that was coming from so I can kind of work out um, uh, what you know where where the lights coming from where the shadows are going to go <laughs> my brain trying to trying to think ahead of myself here and it's, I'm a man can't do it I cannot do two things at once I can't think and do something at the, well I can just about but doing two things at once no totally impossible for a bloke I'm afraid yeah what's the time Ooh, half past four it's half past four half past four in the afternoon I and the weather oh dear it's been miserable as sin oh it really has done nothing but piddle down with rain piddle 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 yep it's just rained and rained and rained and it's gone cold again so yeah not very nice at all so i'm giving him some drool and a big long horrible tongue if you notice i do the vast majority of the drawing with uh, this pen Where's it gone? Hey, come back in naughty screen. Honestly, you like. 
Yeah. No, oh, I'm still recording. That's all right. Hopefully, hopefully the audio is coming through. Yeah, so it's coming together now. He's doing his stalk and his leaves at the bottom. That's how he walks. He's on big leaves. Looks a little bit like um, Morticia out the Adams family. Remember with the little skirt, the, the little skirt, the long dress with like tendrils sticking out at the bottom. Yeah. Have seen any good movies? I've seen some uh, old black and white movies. Um, but I can't remember what they call now. So I've watched too many of them. Yeah, has anybody seen a thing called Traitors? Oh, I should tell you. That's slightly addictive. I don't normally like things like that, but that's very good, that. Oh, I tell you what's funny is uh, Bill Megan stuff's got a new video out. He does um, some terrain, builds some terrain. Really, really clever. Well worth a watch, that. But, uh, yeah, you've got to draw the sacks or the eggs on the top of her, on her back now. And the little horrible um, pod that's inside, you know, the baby piranha plant. The seedlets. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed drawing this one. It was very, very good. Yeah, I've been up since half past six this morning. Half past six. Oh, honestly, I'm sitting there like this. Oh, I got it. I gotta go to sleep. I daren't go to sleep because I don't sleep very well. And if I go to sleep in the day, oh, that's it. I'll be up all night. Yeah. So, you know, guys. If you fancy, leave us a like and uh, a uh, leave us a comment and uh, and subscribe to the channel. That'd be really helpful. We, I think we've got about 147 at the moment, so it's doing all right, isn't it? It's okay. Yeah, it's doing okay. Yeah, putting all of the little thorns on now and the little details with the fine liner. Yes. A little bit of cross hatching. I didn't know when I when I was doing this, I, I, I kind of went a bit nuts with the cross hatching, and don't know whether I overdid it, kind of thing. See what you think. See what you think. You might think, nah, hey, it's all right. It's all right. It's not good. It's not bad. It's good enough. <laughs> but yeah, it's good enough. Yeah, yes, I, I, I thought, uh, I don't know where I got the idea from with the hand, with the, the mouth in the middle, you know. <sighs> Quite horrible, that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wasn't that in the film? What was that film like, that had that kind of thing? On a boat, on a big ship, a yacht. Can't remember now. I think I went to the pictures to see it when I was young with Rebecca. What was that called? Not the... Oh, Deep Rising, I think it was called. Remember that with Treat Williams? Anybody remember Treat Williams? I think... Is Treat Williams dead now? I'm not sure. Do you know, I think he is. Yeah, I liked him in that. He was good too. He didn't do many movies, did he? It's quite funny. Yeah, that had those like tentacle things with, you know, mouth and... Uh, Oh, I can't remember when that was in this. I think that was 1997, was it? 1998, 99, somewhere like that. Donkey's years ago now. Music done by the fantastic Jerry Goldsmith. Still got the soundtrack. Yeah, I loved his music. Oh, it was sad when he died. Yeah, Jerry Goldsmith, absolutely brilliant. Got a lot of albums by him on CD. Yeah, so I'm trying to do it so that Seamus stands away from... So I'm using a lot of black on him so that he pops off the um, the background, you know? And doesn't clash with the monster. But then I go and I, I slightly overdo it with the black with the monster. But it seems to work at the end, I think. It's all right. Oh, here we go. I forgot to tell you. Uh, this is going to be a bit different to uh, the normal ones I do. You're, you know, you're all expecting me to start drawing. 
um, colouring in with uh, Copic markers. And it was just seeing what it was. It was something that uh, Bill Making Stuff said. You know, he's got certain pieces of, he's got certain tools and things that he could use, but the vast majority of people or kids haven't got those kind of things, you see. And he can't get their hands on them either because they're too blinking expensive. So he makes sure that everything he uses is basic, you know, and something that the kids might find in their dad's shed or garage or whatever. And uh, I thought the same. I thought, well, not every kid can afford Copic markers or alcohol markers, no matter what make they are, you know. They're, they're three or four pound each, two or three pound each, aren't they? So I thought, I'll do them with a, you know, a set of watercolours. Now, it's not the same as, it doesn't have the same look as the Copic markers, because it wouldn't. It's a bit more, um, I don't know what you can call it, really. It's a little rougher. And, and then the Copic markers. I do like the finish on them, but I thought kids can afford a little cheap packet of paints, can't they? You know, if you go to range, what's happening to me voice? <coughs> testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing. Um, yeah, if you go to range, you can, um, you know, buy a cheap packet of Roni, Daler and Roni paints for, for you know, four or five quid. And you've got a set of paints there, you know. And I thought I'll sh I'll do it with these, just to show that you can, you know, you don't need the other stuff. Get yourself a cheap set of paints and have a go. So yeah, that's why I've done it. So you'll see that in a minute. I did try to show it, um, you know, you could see the paints and me mixing the mixing the colours and everything. All I can say is, if you're going to mix a colour make sure you test it on another piece of paper first don't go from color straight to uh, the page disaster disaster absolute disaster yeah test it on a page first on a piece of paper separately and you'll be all right you'll be all right yeah so uh, i didn't know what to do with this i made this tiny tiny pupil tiny and it kind of gave him a really menacing look. <laughs> Do you think I overdid it with the black around the bottom? I don't know. I don't think I did. I, don't, I, I kept it away enough from Seamus. I, you know, I never left enough space in between. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Look, a bit of paint now. Now. The reason why it's at the angle here is because I was, there I was, painting away, recording it as normal from above as, and like this. And what happened? Fell more or threw a wobbly. Oh dear. So it's on the side. Now you see me putting the yellow down with a very big brush. That's, that's a big brush that. That is to stop me fiddling and getting too fiddly with a small brush. So I get a big brush, <laughs> fill in big spaces. Don't worry about it. It stops you fiddling. Like, you see, you, you, you're more likely to use big strokes. So that's that's that was the reason why I had a big brush. Now I've gone to the smaller one now. And uh, what colour am I going to do? It has to be green, doesn't it? But saying that, isn't the isn't the piranha fish red with white spots? I think it is, isn't it? The piranha plant. I think it is. I did. I did it green, more green than it did red. I did. I do do some red on it. It's not, you know, it's not a. It wasn't a copy of. Um, uh, oh, here we go. See, so it didn't record, so it went straight to here now. So I've got both again. So I'd coloured it in a bit more. Yeah, put the road in now, put the dark, dark road in, which is a mixture of blue and I think it's Payne's Grey. I try not to use black, I know if I, if I do do something like that, I try and put a little bit of brown or, you know, something in it just to stop making it, look, uh, letting it look flat. But yeah, it's coming, it's getting there now. I really, really enjoyed painting with the paintbrush and the watercolours, I really did. Because this is how I do it all in my in my sketchbooks. If I paint something or colour something in my sketchbook, it's always with um, 
uh, what do you call it, with uh, watercolour. I use um, Winsor & Newton watercolours. Again, you can buy them in range, in little squares. Or you can buy packets of them, for, you know. Uh, well, but you can also buy uh, packets of tubes of Dela & Roni watercolours, which are great. They're great for beginners. They really are. Really, really good. So don't be afraid of using them. You can get those quite cheap. Um, you can go cheaper and kiddies paints kind of thing but they'll be very they can be a little chalky and it's hard to get layers of color on top of each other so go to the watercolors if you can and you know it's up to you in it it's you know who am I to say nobody absolutely nobody yeah so yeah, putting some shadow no, this is me now think overthinking oh am I gonna do this background what color shall I do it so I started with a blue and uh, yeah always put the yellow on first if you've got a light source if you're gonna have a like a, a nighttime scene with a light a bulb or you know a street light is either a bright yellow or whatever and then put the darks on top of that then afterwards you can't, you know, obviously, it's obvious, it's obvious, Chris. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just... If there's any kids that are watching that don't know that, you know, yeah. Put the light one on first, and then... If you notice the bulb or the light in the actual lamp, leave it white. Don't colour that in yellow. Because it's got to be the brightest bit in the, in the scene, isn't it, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm blind! doing the background now so I went with the blue first and I'll darken it up later with a bit of black and blue I think not black and blue paints grey and blue you see that's clashing with all the background and it you know the um, there you go now the paper I use I think is 120 GSM or is it GMS I never remember that um, 500 sheets I think are about six pound seven pound in um, Tesco I th oh, what's the name of the I can't remember what the name of, it, of the paper is yeah it's just don't add too much water just work it a little bit at a time welcome to illustrator Jones if you enjoy this video please leave a like also if you want to know when the latest video is about to be released, please subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. Bye, everybody. Anyway, back now. Interrupting, I forgot about, I forgot he was coming on. He comes on now and again, he, he, he doesn't do much anymore. You know, nobody likes him anyway. You know, nobody said, oh, Chris, where's Furt? We miss Furt. It's just a rude little alien. Makes lots of rude noises. But anyway. Yeah, drawing that matter. So with the Posca now, I'm adding a lots of, you know, stick and, you know, and uh, goo running from their mouths. Dribble. Uh, yeah, and, and also adding some edge light to the water or the goo that's on the floor underneath them, you know, just to make it stand out a bit more. That's the beauty of these pens, the Posca pens. With watercolours, it's very, very hard to keep your whites bright. It really is. So to have one of these to put it all back in, brilliant. Absolutely wonderful. Five dub a dozy. Absolutely great. Wonderful pains. Aye. Bit of, bit of goo on his tongue. It's a bit glary, isn't it? It's, what it is, is when I print it out on the... What's it called? A laser printer. Um, it's like a photocopy, isn't it, I think? The black is so, it's quite, it's a little bit shiny. So if you put a light, it sometimes glares off it. Sometimes when I'm drawing these, I'm like, this trying to get my eyes out the glare. 
when I'm colouring them in, you know. But, uh, yeah. Hi. So I'm, I've started the second book of Seamus Gumshoe and the huge crash. So that'll be in Amazon for sale before long. As long as I get it done. But I hope, I hope they sell. Oh, please buy a copy, please. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's very hard, isn't it, to get things seen. Never mind, it'll hopefully happen one day. Yeah, I don't know who the last subscriber was. It just... Uh, I, no, it, uh, if you're wondering, yeah, why hasn't he mentioned me as subscriber? Because I normally do, don't I? I normally say, oh, so-and-so has joined us, you know, mad lot. <laughs> and, um, but it doesn't always come up. And sometimes I get an email saying, oh, so-and-so has just subscribed. And it was a week ago when the blinking, uh, you know, poor subscriber did it. And it's like, oh, I think it's a bit late, isn't it? I tried to, but it doesn't always come up. Oh, yep, still going with the Posca. So hopefully, hopefully, it'll all come together. Yeah, I quite like it. I quite, I quite like those little babies in the inside the, um, the eggs, you know. I, know, I quite like that. Yeah, that was, that was a good idea, that, I, th I think, you know, you might think, oh, that's terrible. Most people do. Most people do. Do you know what? I cut myself. I, t I told you about that. Rebecca comes up to me and says, that's it. Give it me back now. I said, what? Give you what back? She says, the knife. I said, what do you mean, give it you back? You're not having it anymore. I'm fed up with you cutting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're not having it back, it's mine. <laughs> Beautiful pen knife it is that she bought me, you know. It's got a Damascus blade. And recently I sharpened it, didn't I? Oh yeah, did I sharpen it? Nearly severed me pig in thumb. But you know what? I was holding it and thinking, oh, that's going to be hanging off. <laughs> it wasn't, it was all right. You'd think with a wound like that you'd be in agony. I wasn't. I was for about 10 minutes and then didn't feel a thing after that. Not a thing. There we go. On the computer now, adding a light source, just brightening the, uh, the lamp up, you know. That's what that was. And um, just tidying up the eyes of the monsters, you know. Just giving them a bit more detail than just a because because you're using the watercolors you see you got it's difficult to get absolutely accurate like you can with the pens but of course if you can manage to scan your stuff in there you go look black red black white and uh yeah just cleaning up his eyes i had a little bit of highlight there and then didn't like it so take it all out yeah He's got his spray can, you see that? I'm gonna put, what am I gonna put on that? Yeah, you'll see now what I, what I write on that. Weed killer, <laughs> that's all they've given him, his weed killer. And he's got a piranha plant after him. <laughs> oh, I thought that was quite funny, that. Oh, always underarmed. Anyway, here come the final results. Yeah, there's the black and white one, and there's the color finished version. Thanks everybody, see you soon, bye! Hello everybody, thanks for watching my video. You've lasted this far, you really are great. Thank you for supporting me. If you want to, if you like it that much, leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and also leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think, you know, and if you're having fun drawing. If you want to do more and support this channel so that I can keep it going, please support me on Patreon. That'd be fantastic if you could do that. And uh, I really would appreciate it. So thanks ever so much for everything you're doing. It's really wonderful. And I'll see you next time. Bye!